Steve the Mac Guy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play classic console games on your Mac with OpenEMU. The first thing you'll need to do is download the OpenEMU app from OpenEMU.org. You can get the latest official release of OpenEMU by clicking the download button or you can click the down arrow to get the experimental version. The experimental version supports more consoles but may be less stable. Once the download is finished, open your downloads folder and move the app to the applications folder or wherever you decide to keep it. When you launch the app, if you're using any of the recent versions of macOS, you may see an alert that says the app can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. If so, you'll have to take a few extra steps to enable the app to run. Go to System Preferences and click Security and Privacy. You'll see a notification that OpenEMU was blocked from opening. Just click the Open Anyway button and then click Open and the app should launch. Now just a quick disclaimer, you take full responsibility if you download a virus while trying to get this to work. OpenEMU by itself is not dangerous. The app's been around for years and will not harm your computer on its own. However, the sites where you can download game ROMs can and will install viruses if you're not careful. If you try to download a ROM and anything looks suspicious, you should not open that file. Be very careful and do your research before downloading and installing ROMs. Now that the app is open, we'll need to install some games or ROMs. One more quick disclaimer. You should check the laws in your area to make sure using game ROMs is legal. In the US, at the time of this recording, you're allowed by law to use any ROMs for games you own but don't have a working console to play them with. But as far as I know, it's illegal to distribute them, so I'm not going to tell you where to get them. Just do some research online and you should be able to find them. Now that we have that out of the way, to install the ROMs, simply drag and drop them into the OpenEMU window. You don't have to drop them in the section for each console. OpenEMU will automatically detect the system they belong to and it will organize them for you. Once the games are added, you can play them with a keyboard and mouse, but it's much better if you have a game controller. You can buy a USB game controller, or if you have an old PlayStation 3 or 4 or Xbox One controller, you can use those. There are links in the video description below to videos showing how to connect and use a PlayStation or Xbox One controller. After you've connected your controller of choice, you'll need to go to the OpenEMU menu and select Preferences. In the Preferences, click the Controls icon. You'll have to set up the controls for each individual console that you want to use, so it does take a little while. Select the console that you want to set up and you'll see a representation of the controller for that console. Here you simply select the controller you want to change and then press the button you want to use on your actual controller. In my case I used an Xbox One controller. Once your controller is connected and set up it's time to play. Just double click the game you want to play to launch it. Now that the controller is set up and the games are working, you may want to make a few changes. You may want to change the display settings. These are old games playing on modern screens, so they may not look great. You can change the way the graphics are displayed by changing the display filter. When you move your mouse, you should see a set of controls at the bottom of the screen. Click the gear icon and you'll see an option to select a filter. Try out each of the available filters until you find one you like. You also probably won't need all of the available game cores. To turn off the ones you don't intend to use, go back to the preferences and click the libraries icon. At the bottom, under Available Libraries, remove the check beside any of the cores you don't intend to use. If you found this video helpful, please take a minute to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that might find it useful. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more Apple tips and tutorials.